हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू पेन एंड पेपर्स दिस इज सिद्धार्थ वंस अगेन आई हैव बीन गेटिंग लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट टू रिव्यू दिस पेन एंड दिस इज माय पर्सनल फेवरेट एवरीडे कैरी पेन दिस इज पार्कर अर्बन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द रिव्यू द पेन इज ऑल मेटल बॉडी पेन इट्स ऑल स्टेनलेस स्टील एंड दिस हैज दिस यूनिक शेप इज स्लाइटली बल्की वो यर and then it tapers down and then again bulges out here at the bottom and uh, forms this beautiful shape somewhat unusual but it's very comfortable to carry around and you can have nice uh, grip and other balance and other things are perfectly balanced in this pen so uh, this pen i bought around uh, 2016 i guess and uh, parker had stopped the production in 2012 itself but it was available in a local stationery shop and i bought it around 1200 rupees back then and since then uh, it's it has been difficult to get this pen so uh, let's talk about the features and uh, parts of this pen so this is the finial it has this old parker logo and this is glossy steel finish finial it has this glossy clip attached to it this typical park parker nib with arrow at the end the clip is not spring loaded it's a bit tight and can be difficult if you want to put it in your pocket or something this clip can be a bit stiff so it's not very functional but it serves its purpose well probably after prolonged use i don't use it in the pocket so the clip is still stiff but probably after pro prolonged use the clip may get used to the uh, daily wear and tear so that that is about the clip then you have this parker name printed on the cap it's not laser etched it's simply printed over there then there is this ring band nothing on it plain bottom again made up of glossy steel material stainless steel it's a snap cap pen the cap closes with a nice clip satisfying clip and it it prevents the pen from drying and it does the job really well it's very easy to uncap so you just uncap it and then again you have this unusual grip section design the grip section is made up of plastic however it has this uh, probably protective ring or something uh, here and this is metal stainless steel and then this is the nib which we see let me see if i can just i'll try to focus on the nib yes so this is the nib this is very similar to the ones we see on jotter these days then finial with this groove where m is written so this is a medium nib and it has some design over it parker written over it and then again it's a cartridge converter pen you cannot eye drop this since the center part is metal and it might result in some corrosive action so right now i'm using standard parker cartridge in it however i have filled this with the ink of my choice which is j harbin pearl noir this part is metal and i didn't unscrew it but i guess you can pretty much easily unscrew this part to clean the pen but i usually prefer syringe cleaning so i don't take apart my pens that often but if you want to you can and that's about the pen so let's look at the writing sample before we go to the writing sample let's do the size comparison first this is jinhao 86 again a metal body pen 
this is moonman t1 this is platinum balance so this is a pretty standard size pen though if 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 you take these three pens apart then you then you may see that this is a bit longer pen but in reality it is at par with all other pocket pens so it fits perfectly in the pocket or in your case as far as the weight of this pen goes it's not a light pen let's see how much does it weigh the pen weighs around 32 grams capped and uncapped it weighs around 20 grams so it's not a light pen but not heavy either the pen posts very securely and since this part fits perfectly well here it doesn't come off but then pen becomes a bit back heavy i don't prefer that but posting is possible now let's let's look at the writing sample the first paper i have here is cosmo airlight as i said the nib size is medium and the pen is parker urban the newer parker urban has some major changes and uh, i did not like it much the nib is very very smooth and lives up to the reput reputation that parker has this pen is made in uk so the ones that we get here made by luxo are not that great they are not fun to write with so it writes really well even if you keep this pen up away from for for a long time and then use it then it works just fine the second paper i have here is tomoe river 52 gsm so it's a bit on a wetter side which i really like so what i like about this pen this pen has really nice unit design very well balanced though the only negative point is if you post it then it becomes a bit back heavy and i don't like it but i don't use it posted this fits perfectly well in my hand uh for long longer writing sessions few people might not Uh, prefer this grip section but it for my hand size this is perfect the belt quality is very good it's solid you can pretty much throw it in your bag and the pen will just work fine the only part is a bit heavy that's the only negative point i have about this pen and uh, that's about it thank you so much if you like this video please like share and subscribe uh your likes makes youtube baba happy and uh, it prompts algorithm to put my video uh, amongst the top searches in youtube so please do that and thank you so much for watching stay well stay happy stay safe thank you